Let's uh, go. Okay, I now regret naming him Hikaru <laughs> instead of Sunny. Because I'm gonna be really confused. Not gonna lie. Confusion will reign. Ba -da -ba. Yes, I would like to load this file, this hair file. Okay. All right. Um, I think we we're gonna go this way. No, this way has the thing. Oh no. And it turns out like the bear, it looks so cute, and then you run up to it, and it's murder bear, murder bear. <laughs> we already got whatever it was over there. Uh, so, oh, I don't know how we're supposed to get. Mm, we came in through here, I think. Ah, there's more stuff here. Okay. What are we... Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Okay, I'm gonna need you to move like a teensy bit faster. Oh, I guess that's what we were looking for, and I don't see anything else back there. I hate that a giant spider picks us up, though. That makes me really... Uh... Sniff, sniff. I can't find my teddy bear anywhere. The last time I had him, I'm pretty sure I was wandering through a big pink castle. If you ever find him, could you return him to me? I bet he's really lonely. A big pink castle castle um i think there's a map feature oh no i still don't remember was there anything down here that we wanted to look at in particular mm, yeah i don't see anything oh creepy <laughs> Anybody have a map? Anybody maybe happen to know how the hell to do this? I don't know if you can tell, but this is me just pretending to know. Where's the map? I need a clue. Cause the scary truth is I'm flying blind and I'm making this up as I go. Oh no. You know what this calls for? Bread. That is a bread slice, my dude. Soft cardboard. Disgusting. No, you're not supposed to. Eh? <sighs> Omori is supposed to go first. Yeah, his one ruined everything. Do I need to repair the track? No, I want you to... Uh, I was going to stop it so that he could get out and then put the track down. <laughs> How many pieces of track have I found, I wonder? I definitely have... 
one or two, I think. Oh, I just saw a watermelon. Oh my god. Hello, watermelon. Okay. Could have sworn that I saw. Ooh, what is all this stuff? Ooh, a shiny. Ooh, a hole in the wall. Darn. All right, I have to go collect jokes. I bet she would give me a track piece. It's like playing Snake. You guys remember that game? Um, it's an older game that was on like the flip phones. <laughs> and then you just use little arrow buttons to go around and you eat like little fruits or whatever. And uh oh. <laughs> and you would you'd get longer every time you ate something. Bro doesn't even have a hundred hearts. Oh wait, we need life jam on him. <laughs> eh, actually, we can just let him stay dead. He'll revive after. Then we don't have to use life jam. Yeah, like, looking at them makes me um, think about that game. Do I have enough wooden tracks? I need just one more. Yeah, I'm missing one. I bet it's in the water, but I'm afraid of the water. Do I have to fight the bear? Because I really don't want to fight the bear. Anybody have a map? Anybody maybe happen to know how the hell to do this? Hey, I found a secret trail. The web is too strong to be cut. Okay. Odd. Nope, that one isn't. Oh my god, it's a kitty cane. Hello. Ah! Ah! Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. It's just so cute. Okay, so it's a challenge apparently because the adorable- Oh my god! I love how it's just so stinking cute, but so evil. Why? A stump. Oh. Oh, I read something, uh, something dreadful about that. Don't like that. Ah! Aw. That scared me. Sorry, I didn't mean that. <laughs> Man, I got through there and everything. But curiosity killed the kitty guy. Yes, kitty guy. Look at the flame, kitty guy. 
One of these I feel like I don't actually need to light it, but I will anyway. Oh my god, it goes out so fast. Okay. Should I go this way? No, no, no. I should not go this way. I should go this way. Because I want to get this. A fake tail. Okay. And then, and then light the candle. Oh god, I got stuck. I got stuck on something. Ah. <laughs> Panic. Ah, it's so stressful. What? Ah, basil! My son. Magical bean. A lamp was lit recently. Oh. Okay. Extra foggy. Um, hello. Yeah, I think I would. Welcome to the lost forest so you find things you never knew were lost in the first place. Or perhaps they're forgotten for a reason. What's this? Oh. A way back. Yeah, but this beginning it gets darker every time you know it seems like it's getting darker every time we fail I suppose we all hold secrets no matter how lost or how deep down we bury them they find their way back to the other side Hmm. Trying to lose yourself, or have you accomplished that already? Either way, this is the right place for you. Perhaps that's why you've come here to finish the job. Usually we tend to do things we want as opposed to things we say we do. I've never been one for once. I'm more of a need kind of person. I suggest you look for the exit before your needs become more apparent. You're still here? You must have either given up or you've fully embraced your fate. A confession, perhaps, but I'm not one to tell. Okay. Well, I'm slowly getting out. There was a boy wandering here before, very similar to you. He went into the darkness and never came out. How regretful it must have been to never find what he was looking for. Be it regret, defeat, or confusion, no one will know. I've been lost and I've, I've seen lost and I've seen blind, but the combination is unsettling. Perhaps you are hiding from the right way. Yeah, I am. I don't want to fight the ghost bunnies. feel like the ghost bunnies probably have to do with us our escape it floats in place oh they're innocent they're millicent bystanders oh, i forgot about kel again sorry my dude uh have some bread Yay, he is alive. Ghost bunny. Ghost bunny. There. Oh, lucky slice. Okay. We defeated the ghost bunny. This is the only next way. Morals are lost on the wicked. How does one define malice without intent? Why do you continue down this path when it's most certainly not the right way? Okay. There's an old saying about wasting time when living a life that is not your own. Dreams can feel like that, like this forest, lost. Okay. Sometimes we hide things from ourselves, we create different truths, and eventually forget our way. Have you found yours yet, or are you still lost? Oh no, Jimmy, you tell me. 
Forget all you will or try to. Darkness manifests whether you are aware or not. Hide the inhabitable behind ignorance. And uh, I forgot what else he said. The darkness surrounds you and is a terrible thing, but your truth has guided you. How much longer can you keep it? Kind of like watching that thing. I'm afraid it's going to chase me. Chase me, chase me. <laughs> Everyone else can focus on the other bunny. No, Aubrey. We got some more bread, children. The ghost bunny looks so sad. I don't know if you can tell, but this is me just pretending to know. Where's our map? I need a clue, cause the scary truth is I'm flying blind, and I'm making this up as I go. Yay! Should I, should I be, like, googling? I don't know if you can tell, but this is me just pretending to know. Where's the map? I need a clue, cause the scary truth is... I bet it's that rabbit. Oh, the rabbit knows the way I was right. Follow the rabbit. You picked up a pearl. Follow the rabbit. Where does this go? Back to me, I see. So if we follow the wrong path, we will get sent back to the beginning. What is the up, bro? Rabbit nose do we? I'm gonna explore the area and then I'm gonna go. Oh my god, guys, I think it is the- <gasps> Basil! He's luring us to our deaths. I knew it. I kind of expected to die when I ran. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I was fully expecting death. Like, I thought we were going to get slaughtered following Basil. You know, because pretty sure my son is no longer with us. We have PTSD, it's okay. Everything is fine and dandy. Where is my son? Okay. Keep it. Bro, I don't know. There is no door here. Is there door? Bunny? Bunny, have you found secret door? No secret door? Okay. Then this must be the way. I swear to God. Okay. I do not like that. I don't know what it is, but I don't like it. You reach the end of the lost forest, but the beginning of the truth. I will tell you a story that has been lost through time. story about the creation of this reality. In the beginning, there only existed two, the dreamer and his room. 
The dreamer grew weary of his room and created a door that led to many different worlds. I don't like this story. Walking the paths as a visitor to these worlds, the dreamer would come and go as he pleased. Slips and falls, tumbles and drops. The dreamer's curiosity and clumsy exploration eventually led him to a certain world. One not like the others. One painted with chaos and bathed in darkness. The dreamer slowly became filled with dread. Quiet as they may have been, words of malice quietly crept into his mind, whispering lies, secrets, and truths. Powerless to silence the noise, the dreamer manifested benevolent entities in his different worlds. When he compounded his worlds above the dark realm, sealing it with their combined might. Yet despite his valiant efforts, the darkness's presence never abated. Even with new allies, the darkness continued to scrape and scratch at the back of the dreamer's mind. The noise might have subsided, but it never went away. The dreamer could run and bury away his fears, but one still has to face his own reflection. What the dreamer had created was something he could not be a part of, something outside himself. The dreamer's own power was his greatest adversary, knowledge or the absence of it, would become the dreamer's greatest gift. To truly escape the perils of his own faculty and ascend to a blissful state of ignorance, only then would the noise cease to agitate the dreamer's sanity. So, the dreamer took on another name and chose to forget himself. From that time on, the dreamer has lived among us, simply as an inhabitant of this world traveling along blissfully ignorant of his own fabrication. Children, I must warn you, as with all things that are born in and out of this world, an end will threaten this too. Though the dreamer may have subdued the inexorable, the darkness grows still. No bandage can stifle an eternal wound, and there will be a time when its influence will bleed through. Forgetful the dreamer may be of this peril, a peril never forgets to be, yet the end of this world may be an inevitable, inevitably, <laughs> inevitability. The dreamer is the only one with the ability that can truly set this world free. I. I. Okay, I want to go in the magic kitsune fire. H. Hellfire. Hellfire. <laughs> I got one. Let me see. Well, that was weird. <laughs> is that a watermelon? It is not a watermelon. I am upsetty. Watermelon. Nope. Okay. Yes. Nice, I guess. Hello? There is no way that's the end of the... Oh. Was that just for fun? Is that funny? Uh -huh. I wish... Excuse, I want to look upon... Okay. Cannot do a look. Oh. Between giant pinwheels... Oh, I need to go look for that one. Dark cell, a pink cage. We can't go back in there, can we? Nope. Interesting. Dang, it didn't even have, like, tracks or anything. <sighs> okay. That's fine, I guess. You mean to tell me that I went all the way 
true, angry, scary kitty forest. Just to, I may as well just let that thing teleport me. <sighs> I've never been so insulted in my life. Uh, uh. Angry kitty, soft kitty, spider kitty. I literally could just let one of those cats carry me over here. Okay, I wonder if there's any other, like, hidden areas here. Do I need to fight this bear? Because I don't think we'll live if we fight this bear. Okay, um... Yeah. All it costs is your love. I've been thinking. Maybe Basil had to go somewhere important in a rush, but where would he have gone and why wouldn't he tell us about it? I just hope he didn't end up in any trouble and that he's somewhere safe. Uh, we just found him, but okay, he's in the lost forest and he doesn't want to go, or we have PTSD. Hopefully, we just have PTSD in his son. Okay, so. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Me too, girl. Okay. The sad block of tofu. Hmm. Aww. Where is Basil? Where is my son? Oh, I missed somebody. I had to do some research real quick. <laughs> okay. Somebody named Demi. Demi, Demi. Oh, no. Do I go out of deal with this right now? <laughs> These instructions are complex. I mean, if you guys want to, you ruined everything.
Okay, so left of where you found a matchbox is Marie. Okay, cool. Found her. Return down one screen. And then left from the tracks, okay. And look at the horde of spiders on a web. Okay. Oh my god, there he is. Need something new to read. Okay. I thought I did this already, but I did not. Oh my god! Oh my god! No, no, no! Ha ha! I got the track. Okay, okay. I think I'm doing pretty well, <laughs> other than missing an entire area. That's really. Ah, oh, come on. <sighs> Fine. Don't have time for this. I've got stuff to do. I have to find my son. Level 16 is a nice area to get to. Okay, so pretty much I've done everything. All that is left is to place the last trickety track, because I already got the other thing that they were telling me about. I was like, haha, I found it on my own. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> Not the going to lie. Probably eat that again. Well, apparently, you're supposed to be able to get to the lost forest after riding the minecart, but I found it before. I think I ruined it, but it's okay. Yay! Whee! I'm having the time of my life. Oh my goodness. If only I could have hit the bear. Is there a pink castle up here? Oh my god, I see a pink castle. I had a feeling. Okay. Basil, are you here? Basil, where are you? It doesn't look like he's here either. Hey, look, it's Marie. How is you everywhere? 
Marie, Marie. Oh, hello, everyone. You all made it through the forest. I'm so proud of you. Marie, I, I was so scared. Oh. Hero, this is kind of embarrassing. <laughs> it's times like these I really wish Basil was here. He would tell Hero about how spiders are harmless and good for nature or something. Maybe then he wouldn't find them so creepy. I'm not sure that would help him right now. Oh, Hero, you're going to have to deal with this eventually. These things will only get worse over time. Maybe. Or maybe I'll naturally outgrow it. You never know what the future brings. My neighbors are so loud. I'm so glad I have crisp. What is that? Uh. Okay. Oh, how did I know that was coming down? What the f- Oh, it's gross. Ew. Okay. Use my scales. Okay. I don't think headbutting that's a very good idea. It's not what you want to <laughs> inflict. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. He's a gentle being. He has no violent skills. Oh, it's made of sprout moles, it looks like. Oh. Oh. A sprout mole appears. Oh, God. We gotta kill the sprout mole, apparently. Because it will eat it and gain health. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, my God. She might die, but you know it's fine. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, she can't die from using her own skill. Okay, that's good at least. Ah. Uh, at least it aimed for my child. Okay. Okay, Aubrey is not doing too good. Do more stabby. Um... Do more of that, and I need you to rescue Aubrey, please. Because we need her. It said, I don't like that. It must be at half heart. It's about to be speaking, and I don't like it. He is out of violence. Uh, cook for yourself, bro. 
We can't lose yet. Okay, we're doing good. Release energy. Okay, go for it. They're so cute. I love them. Look at all that violence. We lived. And learned fast food. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Are the... I guess the sprout moles are just gonna be there, okay. Another ladder into nowhere, all right. Oh. Sprout mole village. Is there a teddy? There's a teddy bear in here, isn't there? It's very pink. Is that it? Merchandise on an obnoxious looking person. Sweetheart quest for hearts. Riveting. Strange looking sprout moles. Are you here to see Sweetheart's quest for hearts? I love this show. We have front row show tickets for it. I can see it now. A dazzling epic tale about the hardships of romance. Heartbreak. Betrayal. Desperation. Loneliness. Oh, the drama. This is going to be so fun. I can't wait to be swept off my feet. He promised we could. We can at least check it out. Oh, no. Well, all right. Hopefully this won't take too long. If I may have your show tickets, please. We have our tickets right here. I'll be reaching to your pocket until it comes. <laughs> you go, Mr. Sparrow. Oh, oh my. I can't believe my eyes. These are front row tickets. Yeah, we just said that. You all must have made some great sacrifices to be here today. I applaud you. Yeah, we kind of did. Forgive me for calling you strange looking. After a second glance, you four are the most normal looking sprout moles I've ever seen. <laughs> That's rude. Please enjoy your front row seat, fellow normal looking sprout moles. Yeah, but I want this first. Funny little creatures. I just want to pick one up and squish it. I really love tofu. I bought some at a tofu stand earlier. Feel free to try some. Juicy tomatoes. Yes, I would love to. No telling. We might get into a fight at the show. You and your friends feel like new. Can I talk to you? Fidget, fidget. Hush, hush, hush. You creatures seem like well-seasoned travelers. Could you help me out? My brother lives in a sprout mole colony in the other world. I want to send him a care package, but I'm afraid of getting lost. Yeah, I'll deliver it. He'll appreciate it. Here you go. Make sure it gets to him safely. Yeah, I can do that. Mm, let's go see the show first, I guess. And then we can explore the rest of the quality. Oh, it's so pink. I'm gonna put on my heady fittings because perhaps I need. Oh, my sound is in the wrong place. There we go. I've been playing. <laughs> Look at all the pink. Sweetheart, she is a goddess walking amongst us. We are so blessed. No, I want to look around. She makes no mistakes. Is there anything I need to do here before I take my seats?
Ooh. Okay, so actually, oh, uh, well, oh, well, <laughs> this is why we read game guides, apparently. <laughs> At least I know that my gaming instincts are correct. <laughs> I had a feeling. Sweetheart's quest for hearts. What did the other four sacrifice to get here? Yield sprout. Oh, oops. You were truly the father that none of us deserved. <laughs> Let us have a moment in silence and memory for him. Guys, we defeated him a while back. May he rest in peace. And now on to the show. We're the ones who... <laughs> What is a sequel type thing? Last time on Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts, our favorite princess, once again, failed to fall in love with any of our eligible bachelors. Contestants. Will one of them be able to capture Sweetheart's heart? Oh no. Local. Three feet tall. Favorite food is tofu. He has a huge collection of plastic flamingos. And it joys long walks through narrow tunnels. So number two is, yep, you guessed it, also a local. Three feet and one whole inch. His hobbies include walking, running, and crawling. His favorite color combination is brown and green, and he spends his weekends rolling in dirty laundry. Spicy. Captain, completely different, comes all the way from Otherworld. It's like he just fell out of the sky, literally. According to him and us, it makes him a catch. Except for Snaily.
emits beauty. She exudes grace. She truly has the most pulchritinous face. Yes, you know who we're talking about. She's all that is amazing and wonderful, and she is just about to set foot on this very stage. Please give a very warm, big warm welcome to the one, the only, the magnificent, sweetheart, the Hayo. Ah! Uh. There's a blackout. What do we do? We don't know what happens next. I'm sure they'll get the power back in no time. Help, we don't know what to do. Help, we don't know what to do either. Help, 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 help. Help. Okay. Well, maybe we should look around just in case. It's perfect. Okay. Okay. I guess the blackout affected all of the village. What do we do now? Sorry, handyman expertise comes into play. Cases like this, we should be looking for some kind of backup generator. Oh, I can still go do the things. Thank goodness. Serve them hot. Serve them cold. Who knows? Maybe you're both right. Maybe you can cook tofu in a way that hasn't been done yet. Somewhere between hot and cold. Like, I don't know. Lukewarm? Ew. Lukewarm tofu? That's the worst idea I've ever heard. Even cold tofu is better than that. Lukewarm tofu? I want to throw up. Even hot tofu is better than that. Person. I am the most beautiful spark mold, am I not? Yes. How many tofus do we have? There's a badge for having 99. Oh my god. the joke. I 
Okay, there's the generator, but I don't feel like looking at it yet. Number one sweetheart fan in the world. <laughs> Supermals, while intelligent, are also very obsessive creatures. As you can see, I lack any semblance of self control. Good sleep lately. I've only had something to make the experience of sleeping more comfortable. Like a bed, perhaps? Get the pace, boys. We must make haste. We're trying our best, Warden. Just as fast as we can go. I feel sick. Just keep running. Nothing gets done without a little sweat. Faster men, we must strive for a brighter tomorrow. This wire isn't plugged in. Plug it in? Say, moles, hard work pays off. Now keep on running. Yes. Oh. They literally plugged it in for them, but okay. Uh. Evolutionary technology that will change life in the colony, nay, the world. Ooh, there's stuff down here, though. I'm gonna cut the rope. Yes. You have to be at least level 20. And that I am not. I guess I could have fought it for like just a second, but <laughs> like to get the entry. I need to go up, right? Yeah. Dumb, dumb heads. Someone, someone, please help me. I am in need of a handsome young gentleman. You, yes. You there in a striped pants. You magnificent beast. Yes. Ho, 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 ho. You look like you'll do just fine. Huh? Wow, well, uh, what am I? Thank you. I, I don't know what to say. Please, kind sir, will you help out a poor, lowly mole? I'm desperately in need of your service. Since you asked so nicely, how can I refuse? Thank you. Thank you, young lad. You are too generous. Please come this way now. Chop chop. Can my friends come too? Ah yes, your friends. You're all here to see Sweetheart's quest, yes? If so, you will you all will meet again soon enough. Come, we must make haste. Time is short. Hero left the party. Uh why'd you steal my brother? I don't like that he got stolen.
apologize for the intermission. Welcome back to our regularly scheduled program. <laughs> During the break, we regret to inform you that a tragic accident has occurred right here on this very stage. <laughs> because at this time, we announce the sudden loss of contestant number three. We will remember him fondly for the few seconds we got to know him. Rip Snaily. Was truly a unique and irreplaceable soul. But the show must go on. Why would she do a show like this? Please give a warm welcome to our new contestant, number three. Hailing all the way from the vast forest, it's our hero in shining armor. I knew it was going to be him. He's in his pajamas. Get this, guys. Here is a real hunk standing at a, hopping, a whopping 5'7". He's a one inch taller than me. His passions include baking, cooking, and cleaning. And if that doesn't sound like the perfect man, check out his killer smile and mild personality. He's shaking in his boots. Now, once again, it's time to introduce the star of the show. Dim the lights, please. Be careful with those lights beauty she exudes grace she truly has the most pulchritudinous <laughs> face <laughs> i'm done she's yeah yeah <laughs> okay renge calm down oh my god it's renge renge get out of my video games excellent entrance my liege Ah, yes, it is me. Hello, my stupid, adoring fans. Stupid, adoring fans. Sweetheart, we have brought three of the best bachelors in the world onto this stage. Will today be the day that one of them steals your heart? Let's start with some questions. One thing that Sweetheart values most in a companion is complete and absolute obedience. Do you, contestant number one, agree to pledge your allegiance to Sweetheart for the rest of your life? Uh, sure. I don't know. I guess. Playing hard to get, I see. What do you think about that? She's three feet tall. That's much too short. Send him off to the dungeon. The, the, the dungeon. Why do they have swords? Help me! Why would anyone take part in this? The dungeon. This one. This very being offends me. Taking away the voice. And he's gonna get. Yep. <laughs> okay. Find out what happens to Hero on Monday. Because the stream is getting long. So I will see you guys very soon oh actually i think on wednesday because i am now doing three a week rather than four and if i can go back up again i will however i have um, a bunch of projects going on i'm actually rewriting some books so um keep an eye out for that and i'll be announcing all that jazz anyways as always thank you so much for viewing and um, eat delicious food, drink <laughs> plenty of water, stay hydrated, my dudes, and get plenty of sleep, and I'll see you guys Wednesday, and then on Friday, so it'll still be the weekday ones. So again, thank you so much for being with me on my journey.